Uh, this is Jay Cook, uh, Pike Chapter Advisor, and I got a couple questions for you, Jake. Uh, what was your major when you attended Mississippi State? I got my undergraduate in risk management, insurance, and financial planning, and I stayed and also got a master's in business administration. Okay, so where where exactly do you work now? I work for a community bank based out of Greenwood, and I work for the local branch here in Starkville. Okay, and uh, do you have? Do you have a couple of tips for you know college kids? Right. The biggest tip I would say is to to find something that doesn't matter what your major is, but find something that you're passionate about and that you thoroughly enjoy once you get out of school because then it won't feel like you're going to work every day. You won't dread it. It'll be a little bit more of a rewarding experience, which is kind of what I did dealing with um, getting into the industry where I will be dealing with people face to face, helping them out, and I just get a little bit more human interaction. Um, would be the best best advice that I could give. You know, don't just do something because you think that's what you're supposed to be in. Do something that you want to be in and uh, that you really enjoy and that you really like. Right. And so uh, you, you started off working at George Sherman. Did, did that help you a lot? Uh, absolutely. It helped me build so many relationships and meet so many people, not just other students that were here at the university, but people within the community, alumni that would come back shopping for football games and other big weekends. And it kind of helped you get a little bit more knowledge from outside people, from people who are actually out there in the working world to get a little bit more understanding of that, what kind of different opportunities and possibilities are for you out there, which helps you kind of see what you need to be doing. All right. So did you have any uh, negative thoughts about all this going into your major? Like, were you unsure? I was unsure if I didn't, you know, I'm not a, a huge math person. I, I struggled with that through high school and the first couple of years of college. Uh, so I wasn't, you know, real excited about that at first. And then I kind of realized what the whole uh, aspect and, uh, of banking is. It's not just crunching numbers and that kind of stuff, but it's working with people and, you know, helping them solve their solutions, solve the problems that they're uh, facing financially. Right. Well, I appreciate your time and hope you have a good day. Absolutely. Appreciate Thanks. it. All right, I'm sitting down with Carson Wilkins and uh, Carson is a member of Cadence Bank and what, what exactly do you do at Cadence Bank, Carson? Um, at Cadence, I work in the items processing and imaging department and um, any paper items or anything that has to do with money that comes in any of the branches we it comes through our department and we um, we make sure it's keyed right and that it's put into the right accounts and then at the end of the day every every branch that we have sends their all their deposits and everything that they've done throughout the day to my department and we have to go through each of the bank's accounts and uh, and balance their accounts and make sure that all their debits match their credits and uh, if they don't then we have to get in touch with that bank and work together to figure out why what's out of balance and have them you know help them we work with each other to figure it out and get everything in balance and then once it's in balance we release that branch and they get to go home for the evening um, we also once we get all the balance all the banks branches balanced we then group all the money together for the different banks and like JP Morgan yeah. and uh, regions, things like that, and we send the file to that bank for what they're owed, and then we also receive their file from their end of the day, giving us what money is we're owed from that bank. So, all right, what what major did you start start off with going into college? I started in um, in optometry, pre optometry, and then about three years into it, I ended up switching to accounting, and then went from accounting to risk management, insurance, and financial planning. So were you, were you, do you have any like unsure thoughts in your head like, you know, uh, oh, am I going to be able to do this or a lot of pressure on your shoulders? Um, well, the biggest fear I had was 
whenever I left like the medical field because there's so many jobs right now in that going to a business field I switched to, at the time the economy was was kind of crashing and so I was I was concerned that I wouldn't be getting a job right out of college or for you know maybe a year or two after college and so that was my biggest concern was just job security yeah all right and uh, so so how, how long did it take you to get your uh, graduate with that degree um, it took me f five years and uh, I only did one one summer of summer school but other than that it was five regular years so any any tips to kids out there now or freshmen starting off or sophomores who haven't even picked their major um, I would just, if you're unsure, I wouldn't declare a major right off just to say that you have a major if you're unsure because then you're going to be taking classes geared towards that major and a year or two into it you may realize that you didn't want to do that, that you found something more in, that you're more interested in and then when you switch over to that you'll have had a lot of classes you won't use them so that could end up like that's what happened to me where I had to stay five years instead of four because I had so many science classes and I didn't need all those later on and so just maybe go if you're not absolutely sure what you want to do going into it just you know take what you need to take your basics and then as you are in school a little bit longer and you you know you've been you know more in the real world and not in high school every day you'll kind of start figuring out more about what you want to do and that way it'll end up saving you time in the long run. Well, I appreciate your time today and thank you. You're welcome.